Okay, so by the way, if you have a future stream topic idea, you're like, Nelson, please create a tutorial for this thing. Go ahead and submit it to the form link that Jake is going to post in the live chat, uh, and we'll put it on the list. All right. So a lot of people ask me, ask me on YouTube comments, Twitter DMs, Instagram DMs, hey, Nelson, how do you do this? I don't have time. But there's two things you can do with your question. You can, or three things. One, you can post it right now in the live chat, and Jake will queue it up for me during the live stream. Or two, you can post that uh, question in the Pixel Geek community chat board, but you have to be a member. Or three, post it through the form that Jake is going to link. Uh, and that way we have a list of questions to answer for a future live stream, all right? So that's how you get your answers. All right, so how to create, uh, how to create table of content link, table of contents links on CMS pages. So we're looking at Webflow University website. And in each of their lessons, they have this right here, the static and dynamic content. So if you click on this, it scrolls down to here. If I click on this, it scrolls down to here. So how do you do this? Now, I haven't practiced this at all. And I'm thinking, oh wait, this could be really, really simple. And if it is, then it's a short stream. If it's not, then we're gonna figure it out together live. All right, so let's figure it out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna create a new collection and let's call it blog posts, create collection and create five sample items. Cool, done. All right, so let's go ahead and start designing the blog post template page. So we're here and let's just do it really quickly. I'm gonna create a section with a container, there we go. And let's put some sort of image. Image, pull from blog post, main image, alt text, always do your alt text. And let's go ahead and under that, we put in the heading, the name of the blog post. There we go. And then we'll put a rich text and this rich text is pulling from the post body. All right, cool. Super simple blog post design. Design. All right, so let's go back into the blog post and seven best examples. So let's find that. Okay, seven best examples. So if my calculations are correct, so, I can, so let's go ahead and put um, bullet points. Bullet points, and I'm gonna say, um, section one, section two. So I'm in the rich text element or rich text field inside of the CMS collection, all right? And now that I have my two bullet points, let's go ahead and make sections. So I'm gonna say, um, I'm gonna say this is section one. Okay. And let's add some more spaces. Did I say section two? Okay, let me save and just double check to see if there's spaces. Okay, cool, that's what I want. So when I click on section one, I want it to scroll down to here. When I click on section two, I want it to scroll down. Well, I need more space because I can't scroll down even further. So let's go ahead and add just a random stuff. Let me add random stuff. Uh, yeah, call to action, sure, why not? Let's add more stuff. Mm, a card section, why not? Ugh. Ah, oh, sneezed, okay, we're back. Mm -mm. Oh, it's so difficult, just... Okay, there. Okay, cool. I want section two to scroll down to here. Awesome. Okay, now that I have this set up, let's go back to the collection list. And if this works, then we're done. <laughs> if 
So I'm gonna press return. I'm going to add a code block. Oh, we have to upgrade my plan. Oh, hold on. I have, I have to transfer this to a team plan. <laughs> I can't do the code stuff until I pay, but I have a team plan. So let me transfer it to a team. Hold on, please. Am I back? Yes, it is. Okay. So like I was saying, we're going to, so as you may have noticed, you have to pay for code. You have to pay for access to add custom code. There it is. Whoa, that was weird. Okay, so now that I'm in the code block area, if it's as simple as I think, all you have to do is just add an anchor tag. Whoa, that was weird. So, let me see here. So I'm adding a simple anchor tag of a name. I'm just gonna call it um, section one. Okay, and then end it. Nothing has to be in there, it's just like that. Save and close. Let me make this big again, there we go. And do the same thing here. Oop, not perif. A name equals section two. There we go. Save and close. And then I'm going to link these two links over to those. And so I'm going to use this and just say hashtag section dash one. And I'm hoping this works because then if it is, if it's, if it does work, then we're done with the stream. <laughs> so let's see here. We're going to save click out, go back to my template and publish because custom code doesn't work un unless you test it on the publish. You can't test it on a uh, while in preview. Hmm. It kind of worked. So it's scrolling down but it's not, it's not doing the sliding thing. So how did they do it? How? Okay, is it custom code? Is it custom code? Because like with Webflow, you can do these inner links. So if you're not familiar with um, section links, like for example, let me put like a hero and let me put a feature section. And then let me put like a gallery, right? And so say on the hero, I want it to scroll down. So if this button text, it'll scroll down to here, right? So this feature text, let's just say, okay, it already has the ID of feature section right here. So this button will link to the feature section. And so if I publish, it does that. But the blog post thing that I did, it doesn't do that. It just goes straight to it. Now Jake sent me something on Slack. Is this the answer? Wrap book has a cool dynamic with jQuery essential guide. 8020 did this one. 8020 is a cool no code um, agency. Okay. So, ooh. Yeah, man. Like, how? That it has to be custom code has to be custom code. Like, come on. Okay. Uh, I don't know what this means. Smooth scroller. Found it. Because it's called smooth scroller. 
Okay. So I guess the stream is not done. So we have to smooth that scroll. Let's let's find this. T jQuery table of contents plugin. Hi from Philippines. I'm learning Webflow. Hello, Jafet. Welcome. Welcome back, Thomas. Interesting. I guess we're going to learn. I guess we're going to learn how to do this live on the air. So if you want the simple version, I've already done it. But if you want a more advanced version where it scrolls down, then this one is for you. If you don't want to learn this, you're free to leave because it's going to get kind of intense because it's custom code. So let's see how this works. jQuery smooth scroller. Here we go. Wait, smooth with CSS or J I always get confused when it's CSS tricks, but you're using jQuery. Hmm. Eunice says, uh, custom code, no needed, I guess. Try data scroll time. Hmm. Okay. I will try it. Data scroll time. Where would I put data scroll time? On the link? Huh. Norm, welcome. Let's try this. Let's try this. Uh, let's put custom code here. And we're going to do that data scroll time. So I'm guessing it's like, let's go to section. So I'm telling this link to go to section two, but I'm adding a, a HTML element called data scroll time equals what would I put for data scroll time I'm gonna just put one for now I don't know oh on the target or on the link hmm huh. I'll try the link first uh, go to section two so this is just a basic link. If I save and close and publish. All right, so we have go to section two. No, that didn't work. So you're saying put it on the target. So I'm gonna delete this. Go here, edit this code and put data scroll time equals one. And Jake is saying, can you put scroll behavior smooth as CSS? All right, we're all learning this together. Save, oh, we need to publish it. Publish, all right, let's go ahead and put some CSS in here. Once we figure it out together, I'll re, I'll, I'll summarize what we've all learned. But let's try this. Mm -mm. Let me remove that hash. Oh. We just needed the CSS. We didn't need any HTML attributes. It was that easy. All right, all right, hold on. So I don't need this data scroll time. I can just leave it as is. And we don't need, we don't even need jQuery. We just, all right. I think that was it. All right, let me remove the hash. There we go. Let's refresh real quick. Refresh. Why am I refreshing and it starts down there? All right, life is weird, but let's just keep going. Section one, nice. 
Section two. Nice. Well, there you go. Jake with the win. Let me just recap. All right. So to do something like this, I guess we would need ease and all that stuff. There is easy. So the basics of doing a a, a no code, well, low code way to do this is the table of contents is inside of your rich text, you would have your sections or whatever you want to call it. Give it, give each anchor point a name, anchor target a name. So this is like section dash one. You don't want to have spaces in your links. All right. You don't want to have spaces. Oh, there. Okay, there we go. That was weird. All right, so section two is section dash two. And then this code right here inside of the rich text, I have it section dash one. So it's A. A is an anchor tag. And then you give it an HTML attribute of name equals section dash one. And this is what connects the link to this. All right. Don't, you don't have to put anything like href. You don't need. You don't need to do that. Just keep it as a name, and then you don't have to put anything in here. Just leave it like that, all right? And that will be an uh, anchor target link to from here to go to here. And so then you have your content, and then same thing with section two. You just put the name of your section, and you link it up with your links. And the last part to make it scroll, uh, smooth scroll was this right here. So in your custom code, you add this CSS style tag for scroll behavior smooth. Now, I don't understand why Webflow marks this as incorrect code, because it is correct. But sometimes when you see things being highlighted in Webflow, uh, and it makes sense to you and you double check your code and it's working, you can ignore it because it's not, it's not perfect, right? It's not, uh, Webflow isn't the most perfect code editor. It's supposed to be a no code thing. So if you want to double check, use Sublime or something like that, Sublime text, and then copy and paste it from there to Webflow. All right. And that's what makes it smooth. And after you publish, it works. And that's it.